Ich bin ein my, my, what manner of place is this? A patch of ground to call home. Some rest for the wicked after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. You the sound too posh for my taste, like my man. It outfoxed the cat. Then the cat. down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Of course you are. Very much at your service. Why does everyone that sounds like a posh aristocrat sound just quite so goddamn evil? Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. Yes, this encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Okay. There, middle of somewhere. Nice decor. Nice music. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might be just last. be your last. Oh, he's original, this one. Yeah, these theatrics are leading somewhere. <laughs> are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Oh, look, it's Lucifer. Uh... What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary, conceivably, but a savior, that's for certain. I don't care what you are, I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? So you're literally the devil. A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head one skull two tenants and no solution in sight i could fix it all like that seems like a terribly bad idea take all the time you need but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Mm hmm. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. I like how Starian's just like watching us, knocked unconscious, doesn't give a shit. <laughs> He's like, sup guys? No one gonna say anything about what has happened? You're all just cool with what? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. I want to have a word. Bloody hells. Literally. 
Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. Okay, so Shadow Heart has only say about all this. Okay. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he I knows our secret. Name. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Anticipation. She is testing you somehow about Raphael. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly, the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Okay. Uh, now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. If we don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. Gazador, my old master, liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. Until he snatched it all away. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my Queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Hmm. Well, we had no dragon at disposal now, I'm afraid. I will sit astride one. It is only a matter of time. I will ride a red dragon. I will wield the silver sword. And I will conquer every layer of hell, should my Queen command it. I mean, it does sound cool. To have a dragon. So. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the Hells, this is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. Okay. Wills, what do you have to say, Mimi Gale? Do you feel as flattered as I do? A Cambion came courting us. Yes, they offer you an apple, but they're the worm that lurks within. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. There's no such thing as an absolute certainty. Let me play the Devil Deal's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Raphael is a Cambion, which makes him part human. And what is human is fallible. <laughs> you got that right. As an elf, I feel like that's a shot at humans. <laughs> Fine. But my reasoning is this. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two. A devil offers to take it away. What if 
The tadpole is what he really wants instead of the customary price that is our souls. If I'm right, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Fascinating. I have something to ask. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Do not trust a devil. Is that plain enough? Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost's always too great. Take a single step towards him, and he'll dog you the whole journey. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Why does it sound personal, like you're getting really worked up about this game? The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. That's rude. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own, on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. <laughs> she studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble. She scurries away. Okay. All right, let's do what we grabbed a star in to do, which is to pick that lock for that kid. I'm assuming he can pick the lock. I, I cannot. Star in. Well, hello. Come here, buddy. What do you mean, lock picking impossible? He should be able to pick locks. Watching his hands, you realize he's miming at opening something. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Ah, is that all I had to do? I guess I didn't even have to bring the fucking fucking Assyrian dude, right? Time to press ahead. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. And I hear you have a problem. A few things are missing from your pack. Is that right? Maybe we can do something about this. Anyway, you want to talk? Talk. Sure, Sylphie probably grabbed them by mistake. Here you go. Won't happen again. And to make sure none of the kids on the job outside mess with you, show them this. Okay, you've been surprisingly forthcoming. I expected more shenanigans. Enterprising little shits, aren't they? You got it. 
Now, we done here, or what? We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? I'm not your mother. Do as you please. Didn't need your permission, but fine. I honestly expected the kid to be more like, you gotta do something for me first, kind of vibe, but... I guess because I haven't been an asshole to the kids, that they're not being little shits to me so much. Alright, let's go back to the camp, because uh, I don't really want Starion with me. I don't know why, the, the flamboyance is just, like, too much. For me, personally. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. I'm so posh. Ha <laughs> ha. Kill me now. Like and subscribe. Or don't. Oh my god. Like, Jesus Christ. It has such a flamboyant pizzazz to it. You know, it's like such pizzazz. Jesus fucking house Christ killed me now. Oh, darling. Oh, I'm darling. Hurt. I'm hurt. I, I thought, thought we had something, something special. special. Fucking Christ, kill me now. <laughs> kill me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, please stay here, I buddy. guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here Well, you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. This fucking Lizelle is sitting here with the giant fuck Chatter off flaming already. sword. Tusky. This chick's attitude reminds me of some of my exes. Alright, uh, Shadow Heart, you can come word. with. You're a bit of a bitch as well, to be honest. You're kind of a kind of a bit All's of a well, hot ass. Aside from the obvious. But you're more agreeable than the other ones. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Yes. You have the ability to heal and buff me as well, so you're very useful, actually. You're going to be all right. People up ahead. Something's wrong. So peel. Stop it. You're scaring him. You're all right, Ed. You're all right. Light on my feet. Hello. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. Well, if there's anything you can do. I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to Shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. Okay. Edwin. Ed. This dude really needs to shave his head. Like he's, he's bold. It's accepted. Now, you're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Yes, hand over your valuables. We know that all too well, ma'am, but... The Absolute sent us here. We're I think it's absolute bullshit. Person. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. That guy's in denial. Like, just, just shave your head, dude. Just go bold. You've clearly lost your head. Like, this looks ridiculous. Just embrace it. Huh? We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost.
Uh, I don't think anyone that's like the true soul bullshit would ask what a true soul is or explain the absolute, so that's kind of sus asking that, I think. You! Brenna! Kill her! Oh, okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that outcome. Thank you a lot. Mactave of today. Rook to Queen Six. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Curious or Seems curious. as though the Absolute's attracting followers from all kinds of places. The man is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges, slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. It seems to curl upward in recognition, then shrinks back down, eager to escape. One squeeze should do it, but you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? I think not. Oof. Yeah, suck that bitch. The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. But it's too precious, too sweet, isn't it? Good lord, the narrator is great for this, like... Plus two for wisdom, plus two from insight. Don't even need my bonuses. Destroy the tadpole. You raise your heel and crush the parasite into the ground. Intense regret washes over you, churning your stomach. This so-called true soul carried a tadpole. Their absolute is no god. It is a geich deception sown by the parasites devouring their minds. That such a thing lives inside me is unbearable. A horror, and an unconventional one at that. Shared delusion is not a typical symptom. The Mind Flayers have a plan for these true souls. Which means they've a plan for us. Owl bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Okay. 
That's an owlbear cave. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. It don't look dead to me. Hmm. Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Okay, I'll touch this. Protective magic. Should have known. Um. Yeah. I can. What's over here? Something over there. Just an old prayer. Mm, the chest is like about heretics. So maybe I could read the prayer and then it will let me pick the chest. Because it says it blasts it blasts heretics. So could I the prayer that I ignore it all? Chests unlocked. Oh crap. My prayers are answered. Okay, so just reading it near the chest opens it. It says okay. You should leave it. Or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Why do you care? Yeah, like, you seem really fucking uppity about this. should have stayed quiet. You want the truth? Fine. I worship Shah, mistress of the night, Saluna's twin and foe. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. I don't really care. I don't care who you worship, we have bigger problems. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. There are fucking octopus fucking spawn in our brain! I don't give a crap what gods you fucking believe in. <laughs> yeah, I don't really give a shit what the hell she's, uh... Oh, that's big. It's got a little baby. I'm guessing this thing is find a way definitely not going to be friendly. Your desire. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. It looks angry. It looks really angry. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owlbear cub. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eye still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now. Or step closer and die. I kind of want to kill it. It has. L All right, bear, your comeuppance is nigh. Impero TV. Not miss. It hit. Bad. 
bad. Five all perhaps. I think rank two electric shock. Forty fucking two percent. That sucks. Bonjour. No time to waste. Ow. Okay, it turns out that is a bad idea. Impero TV. Critical and snare, bitch. Kill the helplessly defensive fucking owlbear! Oh god, it's pissed off. Oh god, it's free of my stuff! Oh god! It's very angry! The cub is also getting involved! Uh, can I help this idiot? Come on. Ah, fucking fast. I killed its mother. Ha ha! Looks from you to his dead mother. Oh, it's so fucking sad. A single strike will end his suffering. <coughs> you watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. Okay. That, we've just prolonged its misery. I thought you'd get off to that kind of thing. <sighs> Ooh, that's shiny. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. You don't say. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Well, whatever they were doing, their shit now belongs to us. Let's go move this way. And move. Village. That doesn't sound too good. Promising. It says there's a cellar here somewhere. I don't see one. Don't mm -hmm. waste a step. You mean that one? Okay. If not over, then through. Any other thing of interest around here is the random painting on the floor of some chick. Hmm. Scratch marks on the floor. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click on that stupid little notification bell thing that doesn't really need to be there but YouTube insists upon. In order to keep up to date with my videos as if subscribing didn't already mean that you wanted that. What? I'm not salty. I love you Google. Please don't demonetize me. For the love of God send me money. YouTube are going to demonetize me and I haven't eaten in a week.